Hello. In this video, I'm going to cover the special case of multiplying a number by a single digit number. And then I say number, it could be an any arbitrary number with, which has n digits, any number of digits. So a good way to look at it is, is that it's a special case of the vertically and crosswise method. And it's simpler. And the way we are going to understand this is to take two cases. In the first case, we will do multiply a bigger number with a single digit number which does not involve carry digit. And this is just so that to understand what the method is. And I'm pretty sure you would be aware of that method from your uh, uh, normal uh, discussion within the school or um, wherever it is. And then the, the, the second method will be when you have carry digits generated during the multiplication. So let's look at a few examples. So the first one that we'll try to multiply is one, two, three, multiplied by, let us say, three. Now this is pretty straightforward. All we do is we simply multiply this number by the digits of the number, bigger number here, and keep on writing down the answer. So you can do this multiplication all the way from right to left. Or you can also do it from left to right. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, left to right. It doesn't matter. So for example, if I were to do it from right to left, so three times three is nine. This is my first digit. Three times two is six. And three times one is three. So this was my right to left method. Okay, I just did this multiplication from right to left. Now, what would I do if I have to do this from left to right that is i start from here and move towards the units digit so it would be one two three multiplied by three the only thing you have to keep in mind when you're changing the directions is you keep the digits at the same place for which for, from where you started so for example when you are doing three times one you keep that digit over here and this is left to right this is the leftmost bit and this is the rightmost digit so three times two is six and three times three is nine so you can see that we got the same answer now let us look at one more example multiplying three two four one by let us say that we have to do this by two and just we'll be taking just the simple example because we don't want any carries carry digits right now so let me use the left to right method over here so two times three is six two times two is four two times four is eight and two times one is two so this is your answer one more what if we have three two zero one multiplied by three how would you do this again using right to left or left to right doesn't matter in this case i'll just reverse the order using the right to left that is doing the multiplication this way so three times one is three okay three times zero is zero three times two is six and three times three is nine one more method which is very simple would be one zero zero two four multiplied by two what would you get for this 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 2 is 4, and when multiplied by 0, we get 2 zeros and 2 times 1 is 2. So this is your answer. Now, let us try to solve examples where we have carry. Um, when you try to multiply with the single digit numbers. So let us take this example of 2, 3, 6 multiplied by 3. You have to multiply this by 3. Now, how will you proceed? the same method applies you can do this either from left to right or right to left and i'll show you both the examples so let us first start from right to left because that is how you would have been accustomed to doing it most of the time so three times six now it gives us 18 so you put the digit in the units place here and the next digit comes down as a carry so this one is carried over to the next position now three times three this is the second part so you put the nine over here and three times two is six now all you do is simply do an addition over here so eight this comes down as it is actually it's a zero so eight plus zero gives you eight now this nine plus one is ten so 
you have to carry one to this six and this becomes seven oh eight now this is your answer let us try to look at another example which says four five one two three multiplied by let us say six now let, let us try to solve this quickly so six times three is 18 one is carried over here two six are 12 one carried over here six times one is six five times six six fives are 30 so you put the zero over here and uh, three is carried over to the next digit so this zero is as it is okay there is no carry and then six fours are 24 so you have four and then two is carried over here so now you do this eight two and one is three six and one is seven now there is nothing below here so this zero comes at it is four plus three is seven and two now let us try to do this now this we did right to left let us try to do the same sum from le uh, left to right that is the other direction so it will be four five one two three multiplied by six so how would we proceed so four six are 24 right so you put four and whenever you have a carry you just put it at a place before it and there is nothing over here then five six are 30 okay so you have a zero over here and three becomes a carry one times six is six so you put a six over here two times six is twelve okay so two comes over here and this one is carried over here now the last one three times six is eighteen so eight is over here and you carry this one over here and then you simply add so you have eight three seven zero seven and you can see that you have the same product for both the cases now one last example before we call it close let us take a bit difficult example for example we can say let us multiply 4 3 2 4 3 multiply this by 7 and again it really depends on whether you want to follow left to right or right to left it's really up to you whatever you feel comfortable with use that method as long as you are taking care of the carries properly the product should be same I'm mostly used to doing the right to left so I'll follow that method so seven threes are 21 I would carry two seven fours are 28 so eight comes over here two is carried seven twos are 14 four one gets carried over seven threes are 21 one two gets carried over and seven fours are 28 so you have eight and two gets carried over and then I finish this with 4 plus 3 7 2 0 3 just doing this addition we just have to add and this is the product so that was how about multiplying with single digit number